Ladies and gentlemen, hello. My name is Eric Levine, sailboat sales manager at Beneteau. It's a lovely morning here at the Cadena Yachting Festival on the beautiful French Riviera. And what better place to introduce you to the latest and greatest of Beneteau creations, the flagship of the Oceanus line, a super yacht you can double hand. Ladies and gentlemen, I give you the new Oceanus Yacht 60. By now, of course, you're all familiar with the wizardry of the collaboration between Roberto Viscontini, Lorenzo Argento, and the Beneteau brand. You've seen the fruits of this collaboration on such boats as the first 53, Oceanus Yacht 54, and more recently, the first 44. This here is their largest exercise to date, a stunning blue water boat that'll turn heads in every single harbor of the world at the cutting edge of technology, hull design, and ergonomics. This boat replaces the best-selling Oceanus Yacht 62, but the differences are significant. It's got the same sail surface area, 70 centimeters shorter, and a full 10,000 pounds lighter than the older boat. It's no secret that I'm a big fan of this cockpit setup, and what's not to absolutely love about it? Free-flowing movement from the companionway all the way to the transom, a modular cockpit table setup, a super cool manual convertible top. And of course, these helm stations are just perfection. Throttle, thrusters, electronics, everything is where it should be. Even with the Dodger up, I have a great sight line up front. And then this, of course, is the best seat in the house. I have my two inches, electric, of course. All the lines lead aft, and I'm ready to go. Okay, so another feature that's really important on a boat this size is tender storage and the ability to easily and safely launch it and retrieve it. On this boat, of course, it's done very well. You have this really large swim platform at the back very easy to get on and off of it. And then you have the tender that's stored right here with access through this hatch. Now, right now we have a Williams Jet Tender 280, but you can fit any tender uh, under nine feet, six inches, or about 2.8 meters. You know, another thing I love about this boat is it's like a magic trick. It feels and it looks like a super yacht, but it also feels like a safe blue water cruising boat. You feel really nestled in these helm stations, but then as you're transiting from the aft section of the boat to the foredeck, you have these hive lifelines to guide you all the way through. Let's go check it out. Oh, this foredeck is such an amazing place to be. It feels so luxurious, there's so much space. You have these lovely sun pads that are perfect for relaxing. And then one of the greatest features about this boat is a dedicated two-person skipper cabin with a separate shower and head Perfect for crew, perfect for grandchildren. It, it might even work for your mother-in-law. I'm sure she'll love it. You know, most super yachts are really clean looking and this boat is no exception. See this section of the foredeck here? Well, everything that matters is hidden away very conveniently, including the windlass and your propane storage. Quick word about the sail configuration. The standard setup is an in-mast furling main. Of course, you can upgrade that to a fully battened main sail. You can upgrade the Genoa as well. You can get the optional Code Zero, or you can visit your local sail maker and get whatever sails you want. You know, so I keep talking about this boat like a super yacht, but what this actually is, it's, it's a performance boat that's cleverly disguised as a cruising boat. Uh, in a couple of words and numbers, she's 62 feet, two inches overall. 55 feet, nine inches at the waterline. The beam is 17 feet, three inches. You have two keels uh, available. The shallow draft is seven feet, three inches. The deep draft is eight feet, nine inches. Uh, her light ship displacement is 10,000 pounds lighter than her predecessor. So she's gonna come in light ship at about 22 tons or 48,000 pounds. Uh, as you can imagine, she sails really, really well. So now let's check out below. As with every Beneteau, the moment you walk in, your mind is taken with the volume inside of the boat, the sheer space of it. That's what your mind does, but your eyes start focusing on the details, the quality of the woodwork, the quality of the workmanship, the quality of the hardware, uh, the ergonomics, the attention to lighting, both direct and indirect. And how does this all make you feel? It makes you feel like you're at home because this is what this is. This boat is a luxury three bedroom condo that can take you across any ocean very safely on a whim, and that is pretty cool. So I'm gonna go around some of the features. We're gonna start with the starboard side here. 
I'm gonna take a seat in my very comfortable Italian leather chair. I'm here at this lovely uh, nav desk. Uh, where you can do lots of things. You can uh, check the stock market, work on your emails, work on your novel. Uh, you can plot a course. Uh, got the instruments right here. They're out of sight, but they're within easy reach. Very, very comfortable seat here. The retractable television goes right there. And since this is a Beneteau, wherever you are sitting or standing, you can always see the water. So the port side of the boat, you have this lovely C-shaped settee. Ship control, of course, standard on all Oceanus yachts. This is a very, very comfortable place to be. The table is modular. It can go all the way down, make this a large bed. You can have it in a coffee table mode and you can have it in as a full dining uh, table mode as well. There are two folding chairs that go there. They fold up and then they conveniently stow away on the starboard side of the boat. So it's a really, really nice place to be. Plenty of space for all of your guests. And then um, very, very easy transition here to one of the real party pieces on this boat, the galley. This full beam galley is one of the best galleys I've ever seen on any production boat ever. Why do I like it so much? Because it's really, really functional. It's got lots of surface everywhere to work. It's got all the storage you need, both above and below. High quality hardware everywhere. And then I like that if you're working at the stove, if you're working at the sink, somebody wants to come down from the cockpit and get a drink, they can do it without bothering you. How much rose they left today? So it's very, very functional. It's the kind of galley that's gonna be able to feed a crew of six to eight people on a long, long ocean passage without a problem. Welcome to the master stateroom, and I'm sure you can agree that this is truly a master stateroom. First thing you notice, of course, is that the bed is facing forward. It looks cool, it looks yachty, it looks super yachty, actually. Uh, but there are also practical reasons that we chose to do this. Um, if the bed was facing aft, then you would be sharing this bulkhead with your skipper in his skipper cabin, which wouldn't be ideal. You'll also notice that the head provides insulation for sound between what's going on in here and what's going on in the salon. Looking at a cutout of the boat, the profile of the boat, you'll see that this stateroom and the head occupy a full third of the entire interior space of the boat. The owner's pleasure, his comfort inside this personal space, of course, very, very important. You have a lovely free flow of moving all the way around the bed and into the master head. Loads of storage everywhere you look. And then of course, lots of uh, natural lights, great ventilation provided by these four hatch. And then of course the wonderful airplane style shutters, which will shut out the world and open it back up in a jiffy. The master head, very simple, very cozy, very elegant. It's perfect to get ready for your night out. Two quick technical things. The battery breakers are right there. When you need them, they're easy to access, but when you don't need them, they're out of sight and out of mind. And then the mechanical propulsion is provided by this beast of an engine. 150 horsepower Yanmar turbo diesel, which of course benefits from the special Group Beneteau five-year warranty. All products of the Group Beneteau, five years instead of three. Okay, so the boat is offered in two different uh, wood colors. The walnut is the darker wood, that's the standard. You can also have the lighter uh, Alpi oak as an option. Two different cabin configurations, the three cabin three head or the four cabin four head. In the three cabin three head, this is going to be your VIP guest stateroom with its ensuite head and toilet. And then on the starboard side of the boat, you have a full berth in that cabin, which actually converts to two single berths if you so desire. You can also put an optional washer dryer there. The French have a word, it's gâté. Gâté means spoiled, and spoiled is what your guests are gonna be on this boat. And this is the guest shower. And just look at how much room there is in here. As the flagship of the Oceanus line, the Oceanus Yacht 60 represents everything that's most luxurious, most magical about life on the water. This is not only a dream building machine, it's an ocean crossing machine. It's a luxury condo on the water. It's a great place to be and it sails like a witch. But if you don't believe me, well, do yourself a favor. Contact your local dealer and come sail with us. We will show you what this is all about.